Hello everybody, welcome to Travel Day with me, Tampa J. Thanks for clicking on this video everyone. As you can see, I'm in the airport. Not exactly. Gotta take the Sky Connect, the monorail over to the main terminal. There's much ahead. There it is. This is a newer train. This monorail really flies. Here's where it really picks up speed. the tunnel underneath the runway and right when you get off the train here at the main terminal check this out it's a bunch of miniature hanging turtles that make a giant hanging turtle do you see that I don't know how many times I've walked past here and never noticed that before I have noticed this one though there's a big one and a small one oh man do I have to tell the escalator story one more time? I just don't like them. <sighs> okay, so what am I doing here? If anyone has asked, hello, welcome to my travel day. I'm Tampa J, and I might be going to Atlanta tonight. Actually, I am. I bought a ticket. The flight has been delayed one hour already. I clocked out of my regular job here in Tampa about an hour ago. I have a little bit of time, but thankfully, I've made this trip several times before. I know the Tampa International Airport like the back of my hand. I think I'll be all right. As I'm starting up this video, you're probably wondering why he's going to, or where he's going to. Have I said it yet? I'm going to Atlanta. Atlanta. Why? Well, this will be my fourth consecutive year in a row on this weekend here in January going to one of my favorites. Days of the Dead Horror Convention. A horror convention. That's right. Creature feature stuff. And I decided to vlog, to video my trip. And also, we're gonna go check out Tampa International's giant flamingo. We haven't seen that in a while. I'll talk about that in a second. First, I wanna set this up by saying I rarely film my travel days on an airplane. This is one of my least favorite parts of being uh, a travel YouTuber is actually the flying process. I'm a bigger guy. I've explained this before, specifically explained it when I got um, deplaned in Connecticut. Also, I've been delayed so many times. I've missed so many flights back in October. I had to stay an extra night in Charlotte. I think I made a video of that as well. And that right there is part of the biggest reasons why I don't film when I travel that much. Granted, I do like to travel, but it's just hard. Uh, also, I'm always editing. A lot of times when I'm traveling, I am editing on my laptop as I'm waiting for the plane. Also, I'm editing on the plane. Sometimes I land, I'm hitting download, and trying to upload the video I just edited on the airplane to YouTube. So, a lot of things could go wrong. However, I thought tonight, this Friday night here in January, it'd be an awesome time to fire up the camera and take you all with me. My mission is to get to my hotel in Atlanta tonight. I do have a rental car reserved. Tomorrow, I'm going to the convention. And tonight, I'm gonna get to my hotel, edit this video after you see this travel day. And that's it, that's the mission. But first, we gotta check out the Flamingo. Thanks for watching, thanks for always watching guys. I really appreciate you guys being a part of this channel. Wouldn't be the same without you. All right, let's talk more rock, as I haven't said in a while. There's much ahead. As I'm heading into the main terminal, as I always do, I look up and check this out. All of those ladders sticking up right here in the middle of the walkway in between the Sky Connect, the train, and the main terminal. Isn't that awesome? I don't know if I've ever put this in a vlog. I've always walked past it, underneath it, and I said, I need to put that in a vlog. I think today's the day. You can see that ladder. I think that's hanging the lowest right there. You see that one? Or it might just be the angle. If I come back this way, some of them just kind of pop out at you. This is so cool, isn't it? Love it. I love this airport. Although I've never eaten at this Hard Rock Cafe, we do have one here in the main terminal. And there's a lot of music memorabilia in here, including Gene Simmons' bass. One of his bases. Look at this. It says here on the sign, Kiss Basis Gene Simmons used this 
Aria Pro Bass on stage, but it actually belonged to drummer Eric Singer. Eric loaned it to Gene for a series of gigs. Also in the window here, down from the bass, Alicia Keys. That was her vest. Cool. And here it is. Oh my gosh, I get so excited. It's complete. I don't think I put it in the video since this piece of artwork has been complete. Flamingo! Oh my glory, look at those pink feet. Aren't they huge, gigantic? Okay, so about a year and a half ago, they had a contest, Tampa International Airport, Tampa International Airport, had a contest to see what they would name this giant flamingo right here in their main terminal. And they named it, does anyone know? Does anyone know? I voted for Jay. <laughs> I did, I seriously voted. You could actually vote your name, but there was one name that won. Look at this, giant flamingo. Man, of course this is here. I didn't plan this, I swear. I didn't tell him to do this. <laughs> My hometown airport. You're looking at Phoebe. Phoebe the Flamingo. Check out my size 13s next to Phoebe's feet here. One, two, gigantic. Good day, sir. Just wanna say I envy you. Why, you ask? Because you have front row seats. And right across from Phoebe in this store right here, Flamingo merchandising, merchandising, overload. This whole table, also this table behind me, and that over there. All flamingos. And Phoebe, right out there. I like these little things right here. Ooh, look at these keychains. Do I need this? Of course I do. Tampa, Florida. Ooh, I don't know what to do right now. I just thought of an awesome idea for a movie. Attack of the 50 foot flamingo. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I shouldn't have gave that out. I should create that. That would be an awesome B movie, wouldn't it? Attack of the 50 foot flamingo. Although, Phoebe might be 100 feet you know, full body up there. World's largest flamingo. Check this out. Ah! Oh my gosh, flamingo! Oh, okay. better keep it down. <laughs> For today's creature feature, feast your eyes on Phoebe, the killer flamingo. Ba 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 ba. That's a nice ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> no offense, Phoebe. I know you're not a killer. All right, easy access. Here we come, Terminal A, second monorail of the day. Ooh, so nervous. So I just made it through TSA, putting all my stuff back together, laptop back in the bag, shoes back on, all that stuff. If you've traveled before, you know what I'm doing right now. I always, every time I come through an airport and I get off at of TSA, when I come through it, I immediately, no matter how early I am, I lay eyes on my gate. Okay, I lied. First stop is always at New York, New York Pizza. Too bad I'm not hungry. As I'm walking to my terminal, my gate, that brings me to another point. I rarely eat a full meal before I fly out. The last thing I want to do is get sick on an airport or on an airplane. I'm sick on an airport is bad too. Birds, oh my gosh. Although I have ate at this payway before. It's really good. So boarding's at 5.15, we're leaving at 6.02. Originally I was supposed to leave at five o'clock, but I made it to my gate and double checked everything. Also just pulled this up on my phone. And it's not my first choice of airline. I've had my, how do you say it? I've had my, oh, I'm trying not to curse here. I've had my difficulties with Spirit Airlines. Documented that several times on the channel, however, Flying to Atlanta, Spirit. This weekend, this trip, round trip ticket, Spirit Airlines was $45. That's it, right? $45 to fly to Atlanta and back. Now, if you chose to default and not pick a seat, that would be 45 bucks. They will default pick a seat for you, but if you a la carte and chose the seat you wanna sit in, obviously you're paying more for that seat depending on where it's at. I chose to buy a bigger seat and for this specific flight to get the big seat up front it was only $40 more. So $80 in the hole 
round trip so far. The next flight, I didn't splurge as much for a seat, so I'm paying a little under a hundred bucks for a round trip ticket to Atlanta this weekend. That's it. As I'm waiting for my flight, let's take a peek out the window past the Tampa International Airport runway, the downtown Tampa skyline. As you can see, it's a bit overcast out today. Way out there. I love the airports that are up to par with all the charge ports as you're waiting. That's always a plus. Here they have these little stands where you can set your phone as it's being charged. I just always try to sit right here so I can plug in my phone and not have to go too far. And while I wait, I'm gonna get an evening coffee. Here we come Starbucks. Pistachio cream cold brew, it'll do. Wanted something sweet. Go Bolts and Rays. Look at that, Rays up. We got Rays, Bolts, and Buccaneers. I get this question a lot. Jay, are you a Bucks fan? The answer is no. I'll let the shirt I'm wearing speak for itself. I've spent many a moons, especially as a child, in the great city of Pittsburgh. It appears that my plane just arrived at my gate. Got some time to kill. Good time to catch up on some Chris the Girl videos. That's right. And a little past 5.30, my plane has finally arrived. I don't think we're gonna get out by 6.02. From experience, I'll probably be landing in Atlanta. Eh, about eight o'clock tonight. Oh, here we go. It's time to board. I'm finally walking to the plane before someone sits in it right next to me. The same seat I'm sitting in, the big front seat. A little extra room, very good for a bigger dude. All exits are clearly marked with exit signs, directions for opening, and are equipped with evacuation slides. Overhead signs and aisle path lighting lead to all exits. Please take a moment to locate the exit nearest you, keeping in mind that the closest exit may be behind you. And we have takeoff. over South Tampa. Hello, the seatbelt sign is still on. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. For your safety and for the safety of those around you, please keep your seatbelt fastened at all times. About 50 minutes from Atlanta, so I do not drink soda, but I make an exception on my flights. Can't fly without ginger ale. Ladies and gentlemen, as a friendly oh. reminder, if you did receive a meal voucher from Spirit, it is only for use on the ground and it's not for any snacks on the plane. So once again, if you just got a meal voucher from Spirit, it's only for snacks and beverages on the ground, not on the plane. Thank you. This cost me 10 bucks. Cheers. And that was close, 7.54. I'm in Atlanta, 7.55. The plane actually touched the runway here in Atlanta at 7.28. It took that long to get off the plane. Home of the Braves. All right, so now it's time to find my rental car. I gotta head over to the rental car. Now down to my second monorail of the day. And second escalator. Uh, third monorail of the day. I like this one. Looks like I pulled up in Terminal C this time. The next stop is Concourse C. C is in coffee, which is available on all concourses. Oh, nice. I like what they did there. So I've been to the Atlanta airport where I've landed at F, and I had a transfer to A. This train makes it very fast, but it's still a huge airport. It takes a while. Hello. Please move on. This train is stopping. Please Up to ground level. Wow, what a journey. Planes, trains, and automobiles. And it's not over. Nope, not over. Not over. Now, if I wasn't written a car this trip, I could actually take the MARTA downtown because I'm staying in downtown. But I decided to get a rental car because I reserved it a long time ago. I'm only paying $100 for the entire weekend and that allows me to do something else on Sunday if I want to go drive around Atlanta. Okay, so I have to go to the Sky Train. Hey, they got a Sky Train here too. Look at that. It's that one right there. That'll take me to the rental car center. 
I just want to thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying my travel. I'm not really utilizing it like I should be. I'm speeding it up. Fourth train of the day. Hello, Atlanta. Good to be back. It's been a couple months. Welcome aboard the ATL SkyTrain. Please hold on. This train is departing. Next, Next stop. stop is the rental car center. And I rent. Welcome aboard the ATL SkyTrain. You're Please welcome. I wonder how many people have accidentally pushed that button. I won't be one of them. Or maybe I will. Maybe I would. No, no, no. We are approaching the rental car center. Please hold on. This train is stopping. Please dump all your belongings and watch your step as you exit. Thank you for choosing Hartsville Jackson Atlanta International Airport. It's like I'm on level two. Level two. As you can see, these escalators get off at different floors. They designate your rental car company above the escalator so you know which one to get on so you don't get off at the wrong floor. Definitely not renting from Payless. Nope. Alamo, one of my favorite, most consistent places to rent cars. I've had my ups and downs with budget. If you remember, if you know, you know. Check this out. It is 828 and I have already got my rental agreement right here. Heading to my car. No one was in line. I can remember a few years back, I think it was 2020. I, I came up Labor Day weekend. They didn't have Dragon Con that weekend. I remember having to throw away a very cheap tripod as I was dropping off my cart here. I bought the tripod to shoot a filming location project. I think it was the Halloween locations, Halloween 2. I remember throwing it away because I couldn't take it on the plane with me. It was too big. Yeah, this just came back to me as I was coming that way. Rev4 it is. Yes. Also, they have this nice display for your GPS. Apple CarPlay. It's so helpful, such a great tool. Here we come, downtown Atlanta. Hope this doesn't take too long like last time. This line's a flow in 17 minutes to my hotel. Mission complete, almost to downtown. I can see Peachtree from here. Last time we were here was for Mad Monster a couple months ago. Chris the girl and I drove up from Tampa and we spent the weekend at the Mad Monster convention, another horror convention. It's first one ever for Atlanta. That was, that was north of here, not downtown. And of course we come to Dragon Con every year. We meet again, Atlanta. Definitely not the first time. Definitely won't be the last time. My hotel, 450 feet away. I am all checked into my hotel. Bad news though, their parking garage is full. So I have to go park my car at another garage for the next couple nights. But I've checked in, I just have to park, walk back over to the hotel and head to my room. That's it. We meet again, Marriott Marquis. No, I'm not staying here tonight, but I spent a lot of time inside that hotel. And that one, the Hilton, the Marquis, and over there, the Hyatt for Dragon Con. All right, guys, I will show you where I'm staying tomorrow, but for now, I gotta wrap it up. I gotta edit this video and get some shut eye. Thanks for watching. Someone's pressure washing over there. I hope you enjoyed the giant flamingo and travel day with Tampa J. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for clicking on these videos and hanging out with me. It means a lot. There's always much ahead. There'll be another one. There always is. Please know you're awesome. Know you're loved. And no matter who you are, what you're going through, just know. But there's always much ahead for you, my friend. Oh yeah. I'm stoked. I'm in Atlanta. We're gonna have some fun this weekend. All right, see you guys. Bye-bye. It's noisy out here.